Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. If you're in the market for a compact, portable fiber laser that doesn't sacrifice power or precision, then you'll want to stick around for this one. Today we're taking a deep dive into the EM Smart One, a 20-watt foldable fiber laser that's been turning heads for its space-saving design and impressive performance. Over the last month, I've put this laser through its paces, engraving everything from coated aluminum cards to stainless steel, and even cutting through sheet metal. So whether you're a hobbyist working out of a small workshop, or just looking for a laser that can be stashed out of the way when you're done with your projects, the EM Smart Smart One might just surprise you, so let's take a closer look and see what it's really capable of. Before we begin, this fiber laser was provided for me to review by EM Smart. As with all of my reviews, they aren't paying me for this review, and everything I say is my own honest opinion after using this laser for the last month. My videos do have affiliate links in the description, so if you're interested in anything you see in my videos, from laser engravers, materials, or accessories, you can use those links to help support my channel. We appreciate it. So let's get into it. The EM Smart One is a foldable and portable 20 watt fiber laser. It produces a 1064 nanometer wavelength infrared laser beam. Fiber lasers are perfect for cutting and engraving almost all metals, and can engrave many plastics and natural materials like leather and stone. The defining feature of the EM Smart One is its foldable and portable design. The main laser arm folds down, making it easy to move around and store when not in use. And when you need to use it, lift the arm up, secure it with two simple thumb screws, and you're ready to engrave. It also weighs just 8.5 kilograms, or 18 pounds. That is extremely lightweight for a fiber laser. The small integrated design also gives it a small footprint, so it takes very little room in your work. Shop. If you are limited on space, this compact design can be very useful. The EM Smart One uses a pair of Galvo mirrors to redirect the laser beam through the focusing lens and onto the material you are engraving. Those Galvo mirrors are quick, enabling engraving speeds of up to 10,000 millimeters per second. And EM Smart claims a repeatable accuracy of 0.002 millimeters. I don't have the equipment needed to validate that specific claim, but I can say that the EM Smart is very precise. I was getting extremely detailed engravings, especially on black acrylics. All fiber laser are pulsed lasers. Materials respond differently to various frequencies, so you can adjust the pulse frequency depending on your needs. The laser source in the EM Smart One 20 watt can be adjusted between 30 and 60 kilohertz. This isn't the largest frequency range, but I was always able to find a frequency which worked perfectly for all the materials that I tested. The EM Smart One has an inline red laser to help with positioning your materials. It can be used to frame the border, the outer contour, or even the entire design. The inline red laser was very easy to see from all angles, on all materials, and even while wearing the laser safety glasses. Focusing is done using the knob on the back to raise or lower the laser arm. The EM Smart One uses a stationary red dot in combination with the inline red laser to help you adjust focus. Place your material on the work area and raise or lower the arm until the two dots merge into one, and then you are the perfect distance away. My red dot was about one millimeter to the side, so they didn't quite line up exactly, but once they were alongside of each other, I was in focus. I like to validate that focal distance by engraving a design at an angle. You can find the point where the engraving was most powerful and that would be your ideal focal distance. Mine matched up perfectly with the distance that the two dot method gave, so that's great. The EM Smart One has a 110mm by 110mm work area with the included lens, although EM Smart does sell a 70mm and a 150mm lens if you need higher resolution or a larger work area respectively. A removable work surface is provided. That surface has an array of threaded holes which lets you use the included alignment jigs. While the jigs can help you align materials for repeated jobs, the work surface is pretty easy to slide around so you'd want to secure the work surface before using the jigs. The EM Smart One can engrave objects up to 95mm tall, any taller and you won't be able to focus the laser. EM Smart sells a number of accessories that work with the One. This includes a rotary attachment for engraving round or cylindrical objects, smoke and air purifiers, or even a full enclosure for eye protection and easy ventilation. I'd also recommend the optional foot pedal, that can be very useful for starting jobs without needing to walk back to your computer. The EM Smart One comes in a nice box fit for retail shelves, and thanks to the folding design, the EM Smart One one is flat packed, making the box very small compared to other fiber lasers that I've tested. Assembly is just as easy. Fold open the arm, secure with the two bolts in the back, and plug in the power and USB cables. You can get up and running in minutes. My laser took a little longer to get up and running though. When I ran my first job, it only engraved a straight line. After some very quick troubleshooting with EM Smart support technicians, they diagnosed it as one of the Galvo mirrors not working properly, and promptly sent me a whole replacement Galvo assembly. But when I went to switch it out, I found that the issue was just that the cable connecting to one of the Galvo motors was loose. It may have gotten loose during shipping, so I plugged it back in and everything worked perfectly. So keep an eye out for that. And it happens to you, it's a very simple fix. But EM Smart support was quick and super helpful, so that was a good experience. EM Smart includes a copy of EasyCAD 2 on the included USB stick. EasyCAD 2 isn't my favorite program, 
but it gets the job done. EMSmart calibrates each machine at the factory and includes those machine-specific configs on the included USB stick. So simply launch EasyCAD 2 and you are ready to engrave. They also include a pretty extensive list of material parameters on the USB. I found those parameters a great starting point. I was always able to find the right settings needed for a material I was about to test. The EMSmart 1 also works with Lightburn. I love Lightburn, and I highly recommend anyone with a laser pick up a license. For fiber lasers, you'll need a Lightburn Pro license, but setup with Lightburn was easy, as it can import EasyCAD 2 configurations. I did have to do one extra bit of calibration though. After initial setup in Lightburn, I noticed that the size wasn't quite right. I engraved a 7cm ruler on both the X and Y axes, and they were both around 63mm. But in Lightburn, you can easily adjust the scale by giving the desired and actual values, and it will calculate it for you. And once I did that, the sizing was perfect. Lightburn has extensive documentation to walk you through this process, but if you need additional help, then I've been assured that EM Smart support is more than happy to help, so just reach out to them. So with all of the specs out of the way, let's take a look at how well the EM Smart 1 cuts and engraves. Coated aluminum cards engraved beautifully. The engraving was very consistent, even in areas like the gears where the laser has to jump around. Some lasers can leave lines where the laser moved, but the EM Smart 1 showed no such defects. Even image engraving looks great on the coated aluminum. The EM Smart 1 is perfect for working with metals. It can deep engrave brass, removing about 1 millimeters of this brass coin in just over an hour. Lightburn's 3D slice feature gives amazing 3D results. While a more powerful laser would let you engrave deeper, faster, the EM Smart 1 still did a great job with its 20 watt laser. The provided settings for stainless steel were also perfect. I could get both a crisp white and a pretty deep black on stainless steel. I got great results on this stainless steel flask. I also got good results with cutting stainless steel sheet metal. I was able to cut 0.05 millimeters steel shim stock in a single pass, and it took just 5 passes to cut through this 0.13 mm thick steel sheet. Heat management becomes important with thicker materials, as heat will cause warping, but the EM Smart 1 was able to cut through the steel. The EM Smart 1 is not a MOPA laser, so its colored engravings on stainless steel are harder to control. From my tests, varying speed, power, line interval, and focal distance mostly gave me various shades of white, orange, gray, and black engravings. If you are looking for consistent colors on stainless steel, I'd still recommend picking up the MOPA variant instead, which EM Smart also has available. Probably my favorite material to use with the EM Smart 1 is black acrylics. I achieved beautifully detailed white engravings. This photo of my cat Sven looks incredible. The small laser dot size, combined with the frequency control of the laser source, resulted in these great looking photo engravings. And my non-photo results also look great. The text on this 3D print log keychain is crisp, and there is no bubbling or burning of the acrylic. My slate test also turned out excellent. A few passes on the outside of the design was able to remove a fair amount of material to give it a 3D effect. And I I got a perfect white interior which nicely contrasts with the other gray shades. So in conclusion, I found the EM Smart 1 to be an excellent 20 watt fiber laser engraver. I love the foldable and portable design. It has a small footprint when in use, and when you're done with it, it can easily be folded up and put away. But that compact design does not compromise on the power. The 20 watt laser was able to cut stainless steel and deep engrave my brass coins, and its high resolution allowed for some excellent photo engravings on coated aluminum and black acrylics. And while a more powerful laser can remove material Material faster, if you are mostly engraving materials with the occasional need for metal cutting or deep engraving, then a 20 watt fiber laser might be all you really need. The EM Smart 1 is missing a few convenience features found in other lasers. There is no autofocus or electric lift to raise or lower the arm, but the convenience of the portability could make that an easy trade off to make. The EM Smart 1 is currently on sale for $1,899 US dollars at the time of recording. There are a few different bundles that could save you some money with the rotary bundle on sale for $2,099 US dollars, and the smoke purifier bundle selling for $2,498 US dollars. At just under $1,900 US dollars, that puts the EM Smart 1 in the middle of the market compared to other 20 watt fiber lasers. While you can find 20 watt fiber lasers that are less expensive, I'd put the quality of the engravings that I achieved on the EM Smart 1 at the top of the 20 watt fiber lasers that I've tested. If you are a hobbyist or a small business looking for a compact fiber laser, even if you don't necessarily need the folding or portability aspects, then I could highly recommend the EM Smart 1. So thank you all for watching my review of the EM Smart 1 20 watt fiber laser. What was your favorite feature? What features do you think it's missing? Let me know in the comments below. I have plenty of upcoming projects and reviews, so be sure to subscribe to Hoffman Engineering so you don't miss out on those videos coming soon. And if you are still in the market for a 20 watt fiber laser, why not check out my review of the GWIC G2? I think it could give you some good points of comparison. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.